Hello folks, I'm George Berkeley with the Maritime Pilots Institute and I'm going to do a basic and slow radar transfer plotting sheet exercise on a contact that's on the starboard bow. She's going to be out here around about 30 degrees off the starboard bow. Our own ship's going to be on a heading of uh, two, of north at 000. We're going to be at a speed of uh, 15 knots. The contact's going to be on our starboard bow. It's going to come down and going to cross our position in front of us. And uh, we're not going to want that, so we're going to want to turn right for this contact and have it come down a new relative motion line. So let's get started, and I'll try and keep it uh, slow and easy if you're trying to get a refresher out of this. So we start with the own ship. Um, we're going to use the 12 nautical mile scale uh, scale right over here on the side, and I'm going to use a pair of dividers to measure distance over here. I start by putting my head flash in here. Origin, zero, zero, zero. That's my heading. Own ship speed, 15 knots. Put the pointer down to zero. Run this down to 15 on the scale. Back to the origin, to right here. That's the head of my own ship vector, 1.5 miles. Label that T. My contact is in the contact uh, matrix up here at time zero. She bears 030 at 11.5 miles. I take my dividers, stretch them out here, origin on the zero, run this up to 11 and a half miles. That's my distance. Got that set. Come out to 030. I place the head of my pencil right on the 030, origin at the T. Make a mark. Take the dividers, origin at T, out here. Make a dot, and then draw a circle around it. That's my R, position R. I wait six minutes. Thankfully that's already been done for us. We see here that we have six minute information. So at minute six, the contact is still at 030 and the distance is nine miles away. I take my dividers, come over here to the scale, origin, measure out nine miles. I got that on my dividers. Back to my straight edge. T, still bearing 030, distance 9 miles. Make my dot, that's the position, draw a circle around it. Label it M, relative motion. So have a contact on the starboard bow with relative motion, direction of relative motion line. The direction of relative motion line is coming right down on top of us, a near zero CPA. You can see that it's very close to the origin here. If I sl just slide it over a little bit, that's the bearing. And it looks like it's about 211. Direction of relative motion is 211. R to M is them. That's the direction of relative motion on the contact. So we know we don't like this because this contact's going to run us over. So we're going to want to maneuver. We know that when the contact gets down uh, to a distance that we want to maneuver at, we're going to make our move. So that's going to be right here. I'm going to choose six miles away. I'm going to label it MX. I'm prepping up. First off, I, I might have skipped over something here. Let's go to the time of relative motion. We know we have our bearing. Here's the time. Take my dividers, measure the distance between R and M. That's our six minutes of relative motion on a contact. I tack that off here. So if this is R at minute zero, this is M at minute six. 
And we've got this one here. That's going to be a 12. We've got this one here. That's going to be 18. Twenty-four, thirty. So you can kind of see here that you can just interpolate between twenty-four and thirty. Looks like we're uh, pretty close here. Five, six, seven. We'll call it right around minute twenty-seven. It's going to be the time of CPA. As I said previously, we don't want this contact to be running us over at minute 27. So we're going to maneuver at six miles. We're going to call that MX. So we know that's going to happen. Let's go ahead and uh, make an, uh, when we make our decision, uh, we want to know what the aspect of the contact is. So we're going to take our own ship vector T and we're going to move it out in here and calculate a triangle that's going to give us the aspect of the target. I put own ship course and speed. In this case happens to be 000, zero, zero at 15 knots. I'm going to slide it over here. I'm going to take own ship vector T and I'm going to move it out to R. And I need 15 knots. I'm going to grab it over here off of the scale. I put the head of my vector T on R and I measure that distance right there. Label that T. I put a little line on the bottom of it and the head of the vector goes on R. T to M is them. I draw a vector line in here Look out the window of my ship, I ought to see a contact out at this distance with that aspect. And I can tell what light I would see, etc. So as the contact comes down to MX, as it's traveling down the relative motion line, I want to maneuver. I'm going to go from 6 miles, I want the contact to cross ahead of us at 2 miles. I put a new relative motion line in. That's my desired new relative motion line, so it's the new RML. This is the part that uh, trips people up, but it's not too difficult. We have this relative motion line. We now have the new relative motion line. We want to take the new relative motion line and transfer it up through M past T. So I'm going to do that right now using the Parallel rules. Slide that right up to M. Now you can see the new relative motion that we want is up through M. I strike it out kind of long. Here's my own ship right here. My own ship has uh, choices. It can turn to the right, it can turn to the left, or it can slow down. If I slow down, that's the maneuver to slow down right there where the new relative motion line crosses my T. I can measure that. And I have about six, six knots. So that's a solution. That's a speed solution up in there. Or I can turn my own ship to the right until it intersects the new relative motion line. I'm going to take my 15 knots. I'm not going to slow down. I'm going to keep my speed on, 15 knots. Own ship vector T. I turn my ship to the right to this position right here, and that's our prime. Of course the steer, at or slightly before MX, 
is 031. So as the contact travels down the relative motion line, shortly before it gets to MX, I bring the ship to the right, 31 degrees, to 031, and the contact will then slide down the new relative motion line. And she will get to CPA, which is at right angles to the direction of relative motion line. It's at right angles from the new relative motion line to own ship. Now as she travels down this line, she's going to go faster. She's going to go this, this relative motion from M to R prime. That's her new speed of relative motion. So you can measure that here. And you can say that's her new six minute speed. So here she is from minute 12. Do it this way so you can see it better. From minute 12 to minute 18. And from minute 18 to minute 24. Looks like right around 24 minutes, she'll be at CPA. If we return to course at that point, she'll return to her old relative motion. Maybe a little bit past that, maybe at 25 minutes. So she would parallel this line and she would fall back down in her old relative motion. One thing I didn't actually do is write down the ship's course and speed. It's easy to measure. It's off T to M. That's the, we drew a picture of the ship, that's her heading, and uh, that's her uh, position out there. We can measure that pretty easily here. Looks like that contact's course and speed is right out here about 240, and her speed, measure T to M here, about 11 knots. So this contact, number one, is 240 at 11 knots. Now if I'm going to hail them on the radio, I know how fast they're going. So I can say contact on my starboard bow at 240 at 11 knots. This new relative speed is on, I did it on time here. You'll see I did it on time. But it also has a speed of relative motion if you wanted to measure that over here. Kind of fast, looks like about 29 knots. So you can measure that right there. But I did it as a, I did it as a time, but it also has speed, speed of relative motion. So she's gonna come by you in this new relative motion line at 29 knots. If you see the original relative motion, how fast was she advancing at you? We did from the first six minute measurement, we can see here, she was advanced that distance. If we come over here and measure it, she is headed at you about 24 knots. That's, that's the data of the triangle. So we have R to M is them, relative motion. T to R is us, our own ship speed. T to M, them, their course and speed. T to R prime, that's gonna be our new course. A lot of times you'll draw an arc up here, a little arrow on it. This is the speed change to reduce speed to. We said it was six knots. And this is the course change to change to when the contact's right before MX, which would be about 031. Thanks, and I uh, hope you enjoyed your radar refresher. George Berkeley signing out.